Every single cell in your body contains a copy of your DNA, which has billions of letters of code. The amount of data in all of genomics is going to outpace all of the data on the internet in the next few years. There is this grand mission of reducing biology to a true engineering discipline. The idea that like, you can take a cell, break apart its components, and reduce them to well-characterized pieces that you can then rebuild and re-architect from scratch. The first thing that you will need in any scenario is a software layer. You're going to need a place to store, process, and understand the data that you're generating from experiments. people have been doing biology has radically transformed. Moving from the micropipette to automation microfluidics, and removing the hand and the, the person from the equation. Because of this, we can do biology at a pretty incredible scale. This generates a ton of data. Over the last 10 years, the rate of data generated within biotech companies has 10 x every two years. That means that over the last 10 years, it has 100,000 x. Biotech teams are drowning in the deluge of information. People are multiplexing edits. People are multiplexing the cells they're editing in engineering. And often the customers that we deal with have data on the order of tera, hexa, bytes. At Latch, we are solving the problem of vastly outdated infrastructure in biotech. What Latch is doing is giving people the same set of tools that are invariant across diverse biology to process, understand this deluge of data. This is anything from sequencing data to large and short reads. And what we realized, every biotech company was kind of building the same infrastructure on top of the cloud. So really replacing AWS, GCP, Azure, if we could build a single good pre-configured cloud, we could save them all that time. We work with over 2,000 aggregate scientists and, and, and their teams, 60 plus biotech companies with over 150 academic labs. What this does is it allows them to get their therapies to the clinic faster. There are two types of software problems that we're working on at Latch. Whenever you put such a large aggregation of file data together and you have to move it around to store a lot of it, you have to ask questions, you have to query it, it's gonna push the limits of what existing system software does. The second class of problems that we're working on that's interesting is really complex user design experience product problem. How do you take the complexity of bioinformatics data and make it accessible to someone who has no background in computing, no background in programming, let them ask and answer their own questions, make their own visualizations, about one of the most complicated data formats that you could possibly build software around. The best reaction that I've ever seen from the product was from a group of biologists who basically said like, we had no idea we could do this. They basically didn't understand that the tools were out there for them to do this analysis themselves because for their whole academic career, they had to outsource the analysis to someone else. One of the impacts is on the scientific level, completely changing the way a biologist thinks about their data. We've helped therapeutics companies triple the amount of drug targets they can discover in a matter of weeks or months. We've helped save small biotechs who are lean operations like up to five or six engineers engineering hires because they don't have to reinvent all this infrastructure themselves. They could just plug into our platform. So from a very high level, there has never been a software platform that's aggregated as much data as we plan to in biology. It will force us to reinvent certain components of like the system stack, and it will also force us to think about how to ask and answer some of these questions differently. Another interesting avenue is there are terabytes of public data available online from experiments that have already been conducted that people can really make use of instead of like reinventing the experiment in-house. If there's a single place to query all this information on Latch and synthesize it with the novel data you're generating in-house as a biotech, we want to allow people to do that. I think that when we came into this, we were thinking, do we have the credentials? Everyone here has PhDs. It was through taking just like a constant problem-solving approach, having humility, listening to scientists, having the technical ability to actually build solutions to their problems that we've made progress. All of us have a shared interest in using company building as a vehicle to lead a team of people, rally them amongst a common idea, and build legendary products, engineer legendary products that are used by an entire industry. I believe in science. I want science to advance. And I think that biology has some of the most promising solutions to aging, cancer, heart disease, climate change, agricultural food shortages. Everyone on the planet only lives one life. Like what's actually worth spending your life on? I think this is one of the few problems that I look at and I think I could look back in 30 years and be happy that I spent my time doing this. I legitimately believe in a future where synthetic biology, as they call it, will be a reality. Over the next century, you're gonna see lots of companies that are pursuing this 
this idea. You could potentially use organic matter to build houses, roads. You can plant a seed in the ground and grow city infrastructure. You can precisely engineer how cells will organize amongst themselves. Uh, they're very inspirational ideas that are just on the bridge of science fiction to be a real life catalyst to like build companies. The first thing that you will need in any scenario is a software layer. Latch will be ubiquitously useful for anyone that wants to work on these types of problems. And that's probably the, the biggest driver for myself, my co-founders, the whole team, like what gets us out of bed in the morning. This is the most logical step to get there. While filming for this bio blackout in partnership with Pillar, I've been meeting with a lot of biotech companies, mostly therapeutics companies, and the amount of data they deal with is insane. All doing crazy amounts of multiplexing, testing and samples, doing tons of measurements, tons of data, tons of sequencing. What do you do with all that data? And, and that's why I was so excited to feature Latch. I was just saying that a great startup idea is once you hear it, it's obvious and it makes sense and you know it's gonna change the world, but before people thought of it, 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 was, it was not obvious. And I think that's what Latch is, is creating a really easy to use, fantastic tool for biotechs in software. With the way they deal with data, testing, analysis, visualization, it's, it's really exciting stuff. Biotech is therapeutics, but it's also a whole lot more. There's exciting companies like Latch or service companies that are working with these deep tech companies to better enable them. And there are also crazier ideas like synthetic biologies. The world of biology is like a Pandora's box of exciting, amazing things. And, and we're just getting started. We're, we're still learning so much about it, which is amazing. And I wanna thank Pillar for sponsoring this bio blackout so we could better explore and tell stories about some of these cutting edge new biotech companies. Pillar has and is investing in really amazing founders and teams with this idea of founder-led bio rather than large institutions or only academia being able to do great research and work in the field. They believe that founders and great teams can as well. When I started building S3, I knew I wanted to be really serious and intentional about our sponsorships and I'm really proud to have Pillar as a partner. They're new on the block. They're really amazing. You should do your own research, check them out. Um, very, very cool and, and thankful that we get to partner with them for this bio blackout. Okay, I'll see you next week for the second to the last bio blackout episode where we got some cool stuff coming. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week when we look at how to replace organs in the body.